What is up guys? Welcome back to Danish Reviews and today I'm back for another Let's Chit Chat video for today leading up to the episode of course tonight for The Walking Dead Season 9. So oh my god, I have heard so much from this episode in terms of not spoilers but just in terms of hype, in terms of how much people are hyping this episode up, you know, people that have already seen it. Uh, and I mean, oh my god, this episode is just so hyped, it's actually ridiculous. So, uh, I'm super excited for tonight's episode, of course. It's mainly going to be a flashback, but I am super excited to find out how they got the, uh, you know, the x scars type of thing. So, that is coming up tonight. Of course, review and predictions, both videos will be posted tomorrow for you guys. And uh, I do appreciate all of your uh, support in the last little while when it comes to... Um, you know, new people coming into the channel. I've gotten quite a few new uh, subscribers recently, so I want to thank a lot of uh, a lot of the new people for uh, you know subscribing and of course watching the videos. So uh, let's uh, talk about The Walking Dead uh, tonight. But actually, before I do, I do want to show off something I got yesterday. I went to the mall and I did find a, a really cool Game of Thrones uh, Funko Pop. Um, box set type thing, which is uh, Cersei on the throne, on the Iron Throne. So uh, they also uh, had a Daenerys. I picked uh, Cersei for this one. I might actually pick up Daenerys too, but uh, I actually, uh, I, I probably will pick up at least Tyrion and Jon Snow as well. Uh, the rest, like in terms of the White Walker, I don't really care about some of the others, but um, I really wanted specifically Cersei and uh, Jon Snow on the throne. So uh, yeah, that's really, really cool stuff. Here is the uh, box it comes in too. Um, so any Game of Thrones fans, uh, yeah, these are these are out in stores now, which is really really cool. You've got John, you've got Tyrion, you've got Cersei, or uh, sorry, uh, Daenerys, Cersei, and the Night King on the Iron Throne. Which which one is accurate though? Which one is accurate? Which one here at the end of the show will sit on the Iron Throne? That's that's the big question, and, and that's why they even did this set to begin with. It looks like so that's really cool. But uh, yeah, I am really looking forward to tonight's episode of The Walking Dead. I mean. I am, you know, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan when it comes to flashbacks because I do like to get, uh, you know, information on, I mean, like, because I, I don't like the way Fear the Walking Dead did it in season four where they had the two timelines. It's okay at first, but because Fear the Walking Dead dragged it on so long in the first half of season four and it went throughout the whole first half of the season, uh, you have to watch like the first half to see what happened at the stadium. Um, I found that to be kind of annoying. So to see the episode, just kind of a full flashback episode, um, to see what happened with the X scars is, is probably just the better way to go simply. So, um, yeah, like I said, super excited for the episode tonight, and of course, uh, gonna be back with my review and my predictions tomorrow for uh, episode 14 and predictions for 15. But uh, also another thing is too is that, and I know some people have been asking me about this. Uh, what are you gonna do when some, uh, when The Walking Dead ends? Like in terms of videos um, on the channel, since The Walking Dead is a big part of the channel. Um, it's not the channel, but it is a big part of the channel. Uh, what videos will I be doing uh, during the break for new people that have uh, you know just subscribed or just you know seen the channel recently? Um, I want to kind of tell people that during the summer break, and I will have probably a video kind of talking about it specifically. Um, what I you know videos planned for the summer? I have a lot planned for the summer break. I mean, first we have Game of Thrones, which is coming out literally right after Walking Dead. Um, we have The Plague, which is going to be on, on every Wednesday for the next, like, six weeks. Uh, and then, of course, uh, six six or seven weeks, something like that. Um, and it uh, depends on how many episodes are in the first half. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, Fear the Walking Dead in May, which we're going to have to see... We're going to have to see, you know, how that goes and how good the actual season is. I might not review every episode, depending on the quality. Um... It really depends for fear. But then uh, July, of course, we're going to have Stranger Things. And then, of course, we're going to have Comic-Con in July, which we're going to be talking about like crazy. And then, of course, Walking Dead will be coming around the fallish time. And then we'll get right into the uh, Walking Dead videos. So that's the general plan for the summer. There are, all, there are, there are also other things I want to also, uh, you know, announce that I will be, you know, doing uh, pretty soon. Uh, I have announced that I am going to be starting to make a book series, which is uh, really, really really a long project to do but i am really excited to uh to finally you know come up with my uh, book series it's a zombie apocalypse story and i also will be probably telling you guys the title of the series in the next week or two which is going to be really exciting uh, i haven't I, i'm i'm it's between two names right now for uh, the uh, title of my book series and i can't decide which one so yes and if you're not if you if you're uh, new to the channel i'm going to be starting up a book series probably uh this summer at some point in time so um 
like I said, it's still in the works right now. I'm I'm in the middle of making chapter one. I'm like about halfway through the first uh, chapter in terms of writing the story. I do know the general idea of the story, but I'm, in terms of writing the story and actually making uh, the first chapter of uh, my book series, I'm like halfway through the first chapter right now. So uh, yeah, and the story is really great. It's it's really really great. It's it's honestly a story that I've been uh, planning to do for almost two years now, and I just I'm so happy to finally actually uh, you know finally get around to making my own zombie apocalypse story. It's going to be really, really exciting for this uh, for this summer. And I might even actually make uh, maybe like some kind of like medieval story too, maybe at some point in time in the future. But I want to make a zombie apocalypse story first, and I, I, I think you guys are really going to like it. It's quite the uh, – it, 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 it's pretty suspenseful even just from the first uh, chapter. You, you really get drawn into the story uh, in the first chapter, at least I find. You know, I, I'm really – for me, the biggest thing about writing a story and, you know, writing a novel or whatever is – you have to make the 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 viewer that you have to make the reader more uh, more so you have to make the reader interested right away if you don't even by the first chapter they will give up on it because they will not be interested you got to have that hook for the story right away or else it's going to fail it's it's going to fail uh so you know really the, a pilot in, in in terms of a first just the first um, the first appearance, more, more or less, the first appearance of a new story is uh, super important because if you don't nail your first chapter or your first episode or or your first movie in a movie series, people will not care. So, me, I'm really making sure for this book series that I really make uh, the I really draw the audience in for the even in the first chapter, and I really make sure of that. And that's why I'm not just coming out with this story right away. That's why I've been thinking about this story for almost a year, and I'm only telling you guys like recently because. I really want to make sure that this story does not come out too fast and I don't do this too fast. I really want to, you know, take my time, really make sure the story, uh, the story is good for my uh, book series and, you know, uh, you know, really just carry on from there. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff. So there will be my book series coming out at some point in time, probably late summer, mid summer, somewhere around that time, like July, August type of thing. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's most likely when I, uh, and it, by the way, too, for my book series, there'll be one chapter a month. That is what I'm kind of planning out right now. Right now, I, mean, I could do more, but uh, if I do, like I said, I gotta plan out every chapter really well to make sure that it, it's not a it's not a lazy type of story. Like I really want to make sure that people love the story uh, by the first chapter. And honestly, um, if you want to do that, you have to really take your time and really think uh, think it through. You know, for for a story, you can't just release it because then it's going to fail, to be honest. So, yeah, really excited, though, to, uh, you know, release my book series this summer. As, uh, uh, you know, of course, that's going to be one of the things I'm doing this summer, as well as reviewing, of course, like I said, The Plague, uh, Game of Thrones, which also, by the way, The Plague, not sure whenever the second half will come out, but it'll probably be some point in time in the summer is what I'm guessing. So, um the plague is going to be probably on during the Walking Dead break. And then, of course, like I said, Game of Thrones, Fear of the Walking Dead. We'll have to see how it turns out. Stranger Things, Comic-Con, and then Walking Dead. So that's the plans for the summer. And I wanted to kind of mention that in this video. So Walking Dead tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, enjoy the episode tonight. And I'll be back with my review for the episode after on, uh, you know, Monday night. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the review. Peace out.